Thank you so much for the 50 subscribers. 51 now. I don't forget about y'all. <laughs> I had y'all vote, and because I'm only at 50 subs, Timer Change was the only one that voted, and he voted this review on Jimmy Neutron when Pants Attack. Now, I loved Jimmy Neutron growing up. I had a birthday party with it being Jimmy Neutron centered, and I believe from memory that this was my favorite episode from the show. Been a while since I've seen it. But luckily, I found this guy reacting to the full thing on YouTube, so I was able to watch the full thing. I'll put his link in the description and go sub to him real quick and come back because he made this video possible. So, the plot is Jimmy doesn't want to pick up his pants, and his mother tells him to pick up his pants or he can't go to the movies with his friends. I absolutely hate that I'm 24 and I still get my dad complaining about me leaving my pants on the floor. It's a real struggle. Why do parents care so much about a couple of pants on the floor? But in Jimmy's case, there's a lot more than just a couple. So he came up with the idea when his mom told him that pants will pick themselves up. She said that to motivate Jimmy to pick up his pants. But Jimmy takes her literally and builds a chip for his pants. And they end up taking over the entire town. Yes, that happens. This, this is just awesome. Some fun facts before we start reviewing. Apparently this episode was slightly inspired by the horror film The Birds by Alfred Hitchcock. That doesn't surprise me because this show could have some horror elements into it from time to time. And as a huge Crash Bandicoot fan, they ended up referencing the Wrath of Cortex, which Cindy Vortex was the character that said... You're going to feel the wrath of Vortex instead of Cortex. Because Vortex is her last name. It was a great reference. Jimmy's dad was hilarious in this episode. I loved when he told a pointless story about how he used to not pick up his pants. And now he does. The end. And another good one was when Jimmy lied about being in his underwear because of his pants. Taking over his, 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 his friend's pants in class. Then Jimmy's dad takes him literally and shows his neighbor's his no pants look and wh when he was interrogating his pants you can't talk can you because your pants so zip because pants have zippers zip it if i miss any good jokes i'll play them here oh the jammy is easy and it's fun you know sometimes i do it for hours folding and hanging and you know i even made up a song it's called folding and hanging I could teach it to you. Holding and hanging on fire. Also, um, I loved when <laughs> Jimmy Jimmy's pants came to life and he was dancing. And then Miss Fowler was like, if you have to you go to the bathroom, just let me know. And Jimmy was like, oh, it's because of the chip. And then Miss Fowler thought it was an actual chip because... When he eats, you, you have to use a restroom afterward. <laughs> but um, Carl was funny, too. Cindy was making fun of the Jimmy, Jimmy being in his underwear. And she was saying, I see London, I see France. Then Carl interrupts her and was like, Cindy, you have good eyesight. <laughs> Overall, the show has some really good dry humor that went over my head as a kid. Like Miss Fowl after losing her underwear in class saying how she was happy to see everyone's intent faces but it was sarcastic because obviously she didn't want anyone to, to see her in her underwear <laughs> there's a lot of stuff that went over my head as a kid spoilers alert if you want to see the full thing link in the description to the guy that reacted to it if not this is how it ended you ready cool jimmy used this machine and a rug to take out his pants so all the other pants were taken out as well then Jimmy had to pick up all those pants that were in the streets now that were originally cold or controlled by Jimmy's pants. <laughs> Jimmy is right. Pants are evil and his friends are right. They should have just he should have picked up his pants like they said. This episode held up even better now than when I watched it as a kid. I had the VHS to this episode as well, so that's how much I was into the show. Like I said, a lot of the subtle dry humor went over my head as a kid, along with some adult jokes that went over my head as well. But I don't want to talk about them because I keep this channel clean. 
it was a an extremely creative episode and really cleverly fun concept with some jokes sprinkled in. This was a great episode, hands down. Again, thanks for the 50 subscribers. This is just the beginning. It's crazy to see this channel get this type of success when I focus mainly on my main channel a lot. I'll put the main channel in the description. Just know I swear more and get more dirtier. So if you're not comfortable with that content, just, you know, don't check it out. I'm a comedian and a rapper, so if that's something you're interested, again, link in the description. But if you enjoyed, please leave a like on this channel and subscribe to this channel. This channel is all about cartoons. I really enjoy making uh, these videos about cartoons. And for the few people that watch it, it means the world to me. Here's the 50 more subscribers and many more. I appreciate all, I appreciate all your support, whether you watch one vid or... Or every vid and subscribe. It's crazy what a few hours of writing a script and recording slash editing can get you. This has been Animation Nation. And the next time you watch me, I'll change my name then. <laughs> probably that catchphrase probably wasn't the same as the last time. But oh well, I'll work on it. <laughs> work on a better uh, catchphrase. And a better name. <laughs> Thanks guys. I appreciate y'all. 50 subscribers. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Thank you so much. Did I really say leave a like on this channel? I meant leave a like on this video. <laughs> wow.